wisdom and understanding so that we can become effective channels of truth, justice, and peace. In our proceedings today, guide us in the path of righteousness for the fulfillment of your greater glory. Amen. Please be seated. For is going central, all the ways. For our amen, people of the Philippines versus the city of the Nazar in Granada, for the crime of me. Is the peace around? Yes, Your Honor. Please approach the bench. Arrange the accused. People of the Philippines versus Cicerito Salazar y Granada on or about February 24, 2013 in Pasig City and within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, the accused by means of force and intimidation did then and there willfully, unlawfully, and felonously succeed in having carnal knowledge with the baby a 15 years old minor against her will and consent. Do you understand the charge against you? Yes, Your Honor. What is your plea? Not guilty, Your Honor. All rise. Court is now in session. Honorable Judge proceeding, please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What is the case of the People of the Philippines versus Cusilito Salazar in Granada are both sides ready? Ready for the people, Your Honor. Ready for the defense, Your Honor. The prosecution may call its witness to the witness stand. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. In the house of Kuya Bong, did you actually arrive this house? Yes, sir. Did Kuya Bong force you to get inside the said house? Yes, sir. While inside the house, what did Kuya Bong do? He closed the door and then he, a metal pail which he used to poke me by my side of the waistline and he made me lie down. Can you still describe the metal object you are referring? I will try, sir. Paano? Anong itsura ng metal? Around 4 inches in a length, 4 by 1 inch. After the said object was poked to your by Kuya Bong, what did he do? He is forcing me to, rem to remove my clothes, but I tried to stop him. Did Kuya Bong stop in removing your clothes? No, sir. I am trying to stop him from opening the zipper of the short, but he punched me in my stomach. After Kuya Bong punched you in your stomach, what did you feel? When I was twist, twisting in pain, he was able to remove my short and panty. The testimony of victim reveals that she was forced, threatened, and intimidated, rendering her subservient to accuse appellant's control. The alleged absence of resistance is belied by the fact that accused appellant had to punch victim in the abdomen for him to be able to remove her clothes. Fearing for her life, accused appellant was able to have carnal knowledge with victim against her will. Her failure to call for help is not because she consented to the sexual intercourse, but because she was paralyzed by terror. Although the pair of scissors was not pointed at her, accused appellant's actions leading to the incident already created fear in the mind of victim. After that, what did Kuya Bong do to you? He ate my breast and then next is my organ. While doing those things, what did you do? I'm afraid of that at that time, but I don't know what to do because there was a scissor behind the electric fan. You were not able to call for help? No, sir. What was he wearing? He was wearing a pants and a t-shirt, Your Honor. How was he able to insert his pants if he had clothes on? He removed his clothes. When did he remove his clothes? After he ate my vagina, that was the time he removed his pants, Your Honor. When he was, when he was wearing his pants, did you not have the time to run away? 
No, Your Honor, because I was already naked. I thought you said that he just put up your blouse. Yes, Your Honor, but my pants, panty and shorts. You heard someone taking a bath, so that person could hear you. Why did you not scream? I was scared and trembling, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions. Step down. Prosecution, call your second witness. Thank you. Your Honor, I call to stand Police Senior Inspector Asmin Marie O. Banuena. without laceration. In this case, Your Honor, since she already has previous history, there is more surface area in the penis under the hymen. There is more surface area to expand since that is already a space at the 3 o'clock position. Meaning, if there was penetration that day before, it could be happened that fresh laceration could be caused? It could be possible in this case. But since collaborative is with abrasion, with the anatomical, anatomical position of male genitalia, it's a little bit curved upwards. So if you're going to insert it, it could somehow hit the posterior part. Conversely, if something happened on February 24, and there was penetration, would there always be fresh laceration upon the examination? Not all cases, Your Honor. Meaning, there can be penetration without laceration? Yes, Your Honor. There is also a possibility that there are some pregnancies with no laceration. Could it be possible that because of laceration already existing, and you were saying that the hymen has already expand, expanded, that is the, a reason why fresh laceration could no longer be detected? It's possible in this case that no fresh laceration could be incurred, depending... Because of the hymen has already expanded? Because it has more surface area to expand. It's also very elastic. Thank you. Your Honor, no further questions. You may step down. Defense, you may call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to the stand Ms. Nia Rojas. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. As one of the neighbors of Salazar, did you saw him during the crime happened? I saw Salazar in front of the house at around 3 p.m. Do you saw him with the victim? He arrived at their house without, without any companion. He was drinking until about 4 p.m. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions. You may step down. Defense, you may call your second witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to the stand Mr. Dexter Cavales. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. What are you doing on February 24th together with a kiss? We were drinking tea together with our other co-workers from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Did you saw Salazar bought the victim in their house? No, attorney. We were with Jimmy, her boyfriend. But she's not there. I also accompanied Joselito to his house at around 2 p.m. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions. We have now heard testimonies from both sides of the case, people of the Philippines versus Joselito Salazar in Black Granada. All right. The court is now in session. Good afternoon.
please stand. Okay. You may read the birthday. Court, in view of the foregoing, the decision of the Court of Appeals dated September 20, 2017 in CADR CRHCNO 08 is hereby affirmed with modification. Accused appellant Asarita Salazar E. Bernada is found guilty beyond reasonable doubt of the crime of rape and is sentenced to suffer the penalty of reclusion perpetua Please further order to indemnify victim 75,000 pesos as civil indemnity, 75,000 pesos as moral damages, and 75,000 pesos as exemplary damages. All damages awarded shall earn interest at the legal rate of 6% per annum from finality of this judgment until fully paid. So ordered. Thank you, Julie, for your service today. Correct, please, and join me.